welcome back uh, after visiting the singing dunes we have traveled to the zarkent mosque zarkent mosque is an unique wooden mosque resembling a chinese pagoda and was said to be built without the using of any nails so it is built without using any nails or cement visitors could be forgiven for assuming they would accidentally cross the border from kazakhstan into nearby china when they come across this unique former mosque which is currently in museum the zarkent mosque dates to around 1886 not long after the town was officially settled as far flung outpost of zarist russia zarkent was a small uyghur settlement prior to official russian township status and the mosque was sponsored by a wealthy local eager merchant uh, valikan uldashaw uldashaw needed an architect who architect would comply with his demands to create a mosque and madrasa built entirely out of wood using no nails he chose chinese architect hong ping according to one local rumor hong ping had created such astounding buildings in china that his life was threatened by customers who did not want anyone else to have what they had rather than fortify his life or his livelihood hong pick fled to zarkan the farthest place he could find a new customer a competing legend claims that when hong pick finished his work and returned to china he was executed for giving chinese architectural secrets No one really knows what happened to the architect but his creation still stands built with wood from fir trees is the ne- in the nearby Tainshan mountains The complex inclu- includes a madrasa and a mosque according to the local tour guide white classrooms were segregated by gender instructions was available to both girls and boys In the Latin alphabet, Zarkent is alternatively spelled Zarkent or Zarkent, and during Soviet times was renamed Paniflo after World War II war hero. It reverted to Zarkent in 1991. Depending on your map, you might find the town under any of these names. Uh, this museum is open most days from 9 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. for guided tours, but uh, hours posted on the door may reflect changes. While guided tour seems to be required your guide may only speak Russian and or Kazakh the entrance fee is 300 tenge per person with another 500 tenge uh, requested if you want to take pictures inside the mosque although the per person or per group rules or later fee seem to be negotiable as well The mihrab prayer niche and original main entrance to the mosque are similar in style to Central Asian Islamic architecture found throughout Central Asia but the minaret a mosque exterior and member pulpit are more like Chinese Chinese pagodas in design and decoration many of these decorations feature plants and flowers contravening muslim rules that limit descriptions of living things in religious buildings It can hold some 1000 worshipers with women using the top floor gallery and men on the main floor. During Soviet times when religious observers were observances were discouraged and even banned, the mosque was repurposed for various uses including a store, a cinema and even stables. Eventually they turned it into a museum which it remains today as museum. The mosque has undergone many repairs as well over the years to repair the damages from wear and tear and several earthquakes. While it may have originally been constructed without any nails, they have been added in various stages of repair and restoration. Inside the old classrooms are additionally exhibits of local art and artifacts from the Kazakh and Uyghur people who lived in the area before the Russians had occupied this.
इट इज़ लोकेटेड इन द साउथ ईस्ट कजाकस्तान दिस आर्केंड मास्क इज़ ए ग्रैंडियस बिल्डिंग ऑफ द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी इट्स आर्किटेक्चर कम्बाइन द मोटिव सेंट्रल एशिया एंड चाइनीज आर्किटेक्चर द मेन बिल्डिंग मटीरियल फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द मास्क वॉज उड लॉक्स ऑफ द टेंशन प्रूस विच वेर डिलीवर टू झारखंड फ्राम द अक्सु एंड केटमैन माउंटेंस द स्ट्रक्चर इज ऑलरेडी ओवर वन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड द म्यूजियम इट सेल्फ क्लेम द मास्क वन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड इफ यू कीप ए रिकॉर्ड फ्राम द बिगनिंग ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज एटीन एटी सिक्स और सेवन बट इट स्टिल कॉस एस सरप्राइज फॉर ऑल द पीपल हु सी इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड ऑल बिकॉज इट वॉज मेड वेरी एनयूजल इन द चाइनीज स्टाइल चाइनीज स्टाइल मेड ऑफ वुड इट्स आर्किटेक्चर इज शंघाई मास्टर हनपीट The influence of uh, Chinese architectural traditions find expressions in the design of a soaring roof which has bent upward slopes of the ramp giving the building sophistication in airline airlines the mosque consists of two floors cylindrical columns without capitals and with a large cornice 52 in total from a gallery surrounding the building 122 wooden posts are fastened by a system of beams and nozzles forming the skeleton of the mask the feature of the mask is the abundance of decor wood carving polychrome painting in rich colors revitalizing the surface of the arches and walls of the main hall of the mask the interior decoration is dominated by plant motifs arabic script elements of the augur ornament but there are also images of birds fishes animals as well Three k, three fifty kilometers from Almaty and only a hundred kilometers from Gulja in China, there is a town called Jharkhen which is known as the Gate to the East, and it's nearby to the main road between China and Kazakhstan. Jharkhen is the nearest largest town located right next to the Kyrgyz border. About twenty kilometers to the west, the population of Jharkhen is around. Uh, 33 to 40,000, with mostly Uyghur ethnicity, and you can really feel Chinese influence in the town. Southeast from the Zarkand is the Karakum Desert, which is known as a little sister of its namesake in Turkmenistan, as they both consist largely of the almost black sand from which they are named after. Further to the south, the Illi River forms a marshy landscape. while the 4000 meter plus heights of toksan bay mountain range can be seen in the north zarkent is a perfect place to roam for adventures looking for remote locations there are several unknown valleys like usek burchan shikchan shijin also to be explored zarkent central street is called the big zole which means the silk road which is very appropriate as one of the branches of the silk road was present here this street divides in the city into two the east and the west zarkand traveling to zarkand is a uh, very difficult as it passes through very harsh and desert valleys but the roads are very good to travel here so zarkand is located quite far from almaty somewhere around 350 kilometers but it is still easily reached when traveling to see the sharin canyon alti namal desert and the chunga hot springs which will be visiting after this place so uh, stay connected for my next video on the chunga hot springs and illi river thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more such videos